Hyundai believes its smart new Kona will stir up the highly active small SUV segment. A presence in the rapidly growing and heavily populated small SUV segment was a long time coming for Hyundai, but the all-new Kona seems up to the task. Here we look at the top and bottom of the range, where pre-on-road's pricing spans from $24,500, plus on-road costs, for the base front drive active model to $36,000, plus ORCs, for the AWD Highlander. Given Hyundai's clout in the Australian new car market, it was a bit of a surprise that it took so long to muscle into the small SUV segment with its new Kona. But although the Kona's arrival in late 2017 was a tad belated for a company that currently sits in third place overall for Australian market sales, there's no doubt the Mini SUV will quickly assert itself. In 2018 year-to-date sales see it already claiming sixth spot in its segment where established players such as Honda HRV, Mazda CX-3, Mitsubishi ASX, Nissan Qashqai and Subaru 15 are having a decisive say. An interesting aspect of the segment is that it's not just limited to bare bones offerings, it is possible in some cases, Mitsubishi's ASX for example, to give $40,000 a decent nudge. Hyundai is fortunate in some ways making its late entry into this segment. It was possible for the company to suss out the landscape, figure what works and what doesn't and structure the Kona's pricing and model levels accordingly. For this review we've looked at two Hyundai Connors, the entry-level front drive active, $24,500 before on-roads, and the premium spec Highlander model which is targeted precisely $36,000. In some ways it's the base model that defines the Kona, the packaging is virtually the same and the active, apart from missing 18 inch wheels and a bit of added glitter, looks fundamentally as sharp on the road as its pricier sibling. The big differences are underneath, the high spec Highlander comes with a 130 kilowatts slash 265 newton meters direct injection one. Six liter turbo for where the active makes do with the 110 kilowatts slash 180 newton meters aspirated Atkinson cycle 2. Zero liter new engine already familiar in Hyundai L and from models where it produces slightly higher 112 kilowatts slash 192 newton meters outputs. Kona transmissions are different too, the Highlander uses a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission where the active drives through a 6-speed automatic. And so are the drivelines, the Highlander is an on-demand all-wheel drive where the active uses the base front drive system. And so are the suspensions. Highlanders have a multi-link independent rear suspension, IRS, where active versions use a simpler, dead axle torsion beam arrangement. The upshot though is that, with Australian suspension development involvement, the Kona drives well at both ends of the spectrum. The dynamic differences are confined to a noticeably sportier experience in the turbocharged, AWD and IRS Highlander.
Like we said, the packaging is the same, although it is outclassed by the Honda HRV's 437 liters of unhindered boot space, opening out to 1,462 liters with the seats folded. The Kona doesn't do too badly with a quoted 361 1,383 liters, comfortably better than the class-leading Mazda CX-3's 264 1,174 liters. The Kona, just, passes the wheel remove mountain bike test, although your best advice not to try squeezing a single rear passenger in at the same time. Passenger space, with the proviso that we are talking about the smaller end of the market here, isn't too bad, the Kona will fit 5 passengers at a pinch. You wouldn't want to be sitting in the rear middle for long though, leaving back seaters with adequate legroom even when long limbed occupants are riding up front. Judging from the many unsolicited reactions, the Kona goes down pretty well in terms of public perceptions. In its presentation, the Hyundai Kona is among a pretty highly styled competitor set. It's fair to say that it makes the cut, up front there's plenty going on with the obligatory oversized grille flanked by a two-level lighting arrangement, heavily sculpted sides with beefy wheel arches and a brash rear end with, once again, two levels of lighting and a spoiler extension above the rear window. The nine color choices and the available contrasting roof colors help to dot inside, the Kona is probably not as in your face as a Toyota CHR or Honda HRV. But it's not likely to disappoint your average young buyer, particularly in Highlander form, with the brazenly contrasting trim on its seats, dash, center console and safety belts. It's disappointing to note, though, that nowhere in the model spread does the Kona offer venting to the rear of the cabin. On the road, we have two quite different Hyundais. The entry active model, with the exception of a bit of fore-aft pitch, rides and steers pretty well, clearly benefiting from Australian suspension input, while the bigger wheeled Highlander, 236-45 R18 tires compared with the Active's 205-6AR16S, was noticeably firmer and more sharply responsive to the steering. While this suited the eager talk of the Highlander's 1.6-litre turbo engine and the brisk efficiency of the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, we wondered if Kona buyers wouldn't be happier with the softer but still capable base suspension. That said, you'd have to be tempted by the upmarket Kona's AWD. Even though it may not take you far off the edge of the bitumen, ground clearance is nothing special at 170mm, it will give a bit of extra security on gravel roads or in wet conditions. If there was any criticism of the Kona's dynamics, it's that the cabin allows a fair bit of road noise to seep in, especially in the back seat. The bottom line is that Hyundai has taken a page out of Mazda's development manual by injecting the Kona with a bit of zoom zoom. Whether in Highlander or active form, it drives a bit like a more vertically oriented new generation Hyundai i30. The Kona's direct injection 1.6-litre gamma turbo engine is more noticeable for its torque than its kilowatts. The former is up 85 newton meters over the aspirated engine, while power is a less impressive 20 kilowatts more. And some of this is negated by the AWD-only turbo's added weight 
the Kona Active weighs in at 1,383 kilograms, while the AWD Highlander is quite a bit heavier at 1,507 kilograms. This makes it bulkier than its peers which, except for the Toyota CHR, generally sneak in at less than 1,400 kilograms, and that includes the Mazda CX-3 AWD. The power weight ratios aren't that disparate, around 86 kilowatts slash ton for the Highlander and about 80 kilowatts slash ton for the active, but, as mentioned, it's the torque that does the business for the one. Six litre turbo dot although the regular 2.0 litre does a reasonably good job, the smaller blown engine has a noticeable edge out on the highway or in standing start sprints. Iron Dyes claims about fuel efficiency seemed a bit inverted dot despite claims of 6.7 litres slash 100 kilometres for the turbo and 7. liters slash 100 kilometers for the regular 2.0 liter our experiences were a direct reverse the turbo returned eight one liter slash 100 kilometers on test while the 2.0 liter did better than the official claim and essentially the same as the official claim for the turbo with six Six liters slash 100 kilometers. Both Connors were driven in similar conditions to dot as some sort of compensation for its economy shortfalls. Hyundai doesn't mind you running the turbo engine on regular unleaded fuel. On top of its on demand AWD, the Kona Highlander has a big edge in terms of safety tech. Unlike the active, it scores high and low speed autonomous emergency braking, AEB. Lane departure warning and lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and LED headlights but it does, surprisingly, miss out on adaptive cruise control. Some compensation can be found in the Kona's regular cruise control system which does a pretty good job of maintaining a set speed on the open road. And it's our duty to note that the Kona follows some others by only enabling satellite navigation through the tablet-style central color screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay USB connections.